All right, guys. Here is my fingers. I have a gloves in there. I have a band-aid underneath my gloves. I am very sorry about that. I um, I'm, I will, I want to say excuse for that fingers. Okay. Anyway, for what that happens on this, I just happened to break a glass on my finger where I was trying to wash it, and it breaks because it's supposed to be part of our project and or DIY. But then it broke on my finger. I think I just hold it too tight. I don't know what happened, but it just broke in there. So. Yep, that's why right. there's a band-aid on it. Anyway, welcome to my channel again. This is Shasha SJ. I am so happy that you are here today. Thank you so much for coming by and checking on my channel. If you are new to my channel, I am Shasha SJ. I love to craft anything from the Dollar Tree, Walmart, Goodwill, and anything that can be recycled. And I also love jewelries. And speaking of jewelries, I have these enamel coral look alike. Look at that pretty pretty bracelet and you open it like so like this and it comes out like that I have them on my Poshmark closet and if you want to go there and check them out go check it out and if there's an item that you like and the price is not right you can also make me an offer and we can work it out and anyway let's get into our DIY of today let's go All right, so let's go into my stash first. It's absolutely, we're not gonna use paint because if I use a paint, it's going to. <laughs> I have to wash my hands and then if you have a paint, go ahead and use it. But for now, I'm going to use an alternative for me. And if you have a paint, go ahead and use it. And I have this felt. This is the choice that I just picked up today. From Goodwill, this is what I have. I went to Goodwill and then I could not find a, a beard or a fake beard, which is almost as this for the gnome's beard. I could not find anything. I was like, I have to find something almost the same. So they have a scarf over there. And this is what I found. So we are going to use this as our gnome's beard. And I have this vase since our round bowl vase, you know, like you use for the fish and stuff. I have that, but then it broke. It's just broken. So I have this alternative one that we are going to use, but we are going to cover this one. If you have a paint, you can paint it. This is just an option since I'm not close to Goodwill right now. <laughs> so this is what I'm going to use from my stash. There's also a tag on it, so just ignore it. And if you have that vase or this kind of vase, go ahead and paint it if you have one. And let's put this one aside. And from the Dollar Tree that I have is, yes, this is from the Dollar Tree. We are going to open this together. This is what I grabbed. I grabbed this hat. Our gnome is gonna be wearing a hat, shiny hat. <laughs> And this one, hair rollers. And a little bunny. Yay! I don't know what we're gonna do to this, but yes. And a headband. A chocolate of your choice. They have this one at the Dollar Tree, and I grab it. I think this is for, uh, you know, for. I don't know but yeah I found this one at the Dollar Tree and I grabbed this two bunnies because we are going to make a shoe for our gnome so there you go there's our two little bunnies two of them I grabbed two of them because we're going to make a shoe and this one this could be our gnome's nose we will see okay cross your fingers <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to cover it up or just leave it like that. And a paint. I got this also from the Dollar Tree. Go ahead. If you have a paint, you can use a paint. But right now, I want to excuse my fingers right now because it, there's a gloves on it. And it's just 
if you know what I mean it's too much <laughs> anyway um, if you want to paint go ahead and paint it but I would say use a fabric somehow if you have a fabric because you know if it's mixed with um, food in there you don't want to have a paint but it's up to you it's everyone's choice and more chocolate all right so that's my Dollar Tree shopping for our gnome of today so let's get into it let's go all right so next we are going to work on our gnome's body so what you can do if you have a round one that you want you can cover it up with a paint but for me I choose not to because I have kids and I don't want to you know paint <laughs> so this one is the same way I'm going to grab my felt and I'm going to cut them in three inches so one two three so I'm going to cut them right here all right so there you go now next you can grab your jar and you can start gluing this like so on the way edge of your vase or jar okay so that's what i'm going to do All right, so they are done covered. All right, and all you can do is you can cover this bottom as well, like so, and then you can cut it and how you want it, okay? So this is how I do mine. I want to cover the bottom, so then it's not like, you know, weird. So I want to cover it like so. like that and I will cut around it like so all right so as you can see it's nice at the bottom already so there you go all right so next we are going to measure if you have a beard what I'm trying to do is I'm just going to measure this up and Hopefully it works out right on our gnome's beard, just like that. I'm just going to cut it in this area. I'm trying to cover this one up so that's why it's awesome. Like so. But first I'm going to grab, I'm going to use this nose here. This one right here on our gnomes. I want it right there. There you go. There is our gnomes beard. As you can see, it looks super pretty. Oh my, I really, really love it. Super cute. And next is we are going to grab this one because this is going to be our gnome's tail. There you go. Next is we are going to attach our gnome's legs, okay? And we grab our gnome's legs in here and we are going to attach this down here 
like so so it's like we open this bottom down here as you can see I just opened it up and you just slide it through in there and put the other one on the other side okay so let's put the glue in there all right so once it is attached then now you can close your nose bottom down here okay so you just have to close it There you go. There is our gnomes legs. Isn't it cute? Oh my, so cute. All right. All right, so next let's make our gnome a arm. And I have this hair rollers from the Dollar Tree as well. And I'm going to aim just to make sure this color is going to be coming out like so. And I am just going to roll it and roll it and close it, okay? Just like that. There you go. There's our gnome's arm. And I'm going to finish the other arm, okay? All right, so next we are going to attach our gnome's arms in here. So what I did, I just, that's why we don't finish tucking or gluing this beard because we can tuck in our gnome's arm like so. Okay, so I'm going to attach this. So bear with me. Alright, so there is our gnome's arm. Pretty cool. Next is we are going to work on our gnome's hat. So we just have to leave it like so like that. And we are going to grab our headband. So what I did is I just cut the edge of this headband. Like so. Like what I did on my previous video. And cut also the other end. Make sure you don't cut the plastic in there because there's a plastic. There you go. And of course you remove this as well. And you can start removing that by cutting this in the middle right here. Alright, so next is what you can do is you can just trim some of those stuff in there and we are going to clean this area first. It's kind of messy. Alright, so next is what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to roll this and glue this together so they're kind of like close. All right, so now they are closed. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue that bunny ears in here like so. Alright, so there you go. There is our gnome bunny's hat. Super cute. I really, really love it, guys. I love it. So, what you can do next is the hat is done. Our gnome's body is done. And what we can do is we can put our chocolates in this jar. Oh, so exciting. And then just put them in there. I am so excited with this, guys. This is super awesome 
cool craft and honestly guys even though i got cut it's worth it <laughs> and guess what i'm hungry already i am hungry and and there you go so then with our gnome we can cover that jar with our gnome's hat oh my gosh you guys is super cute you gotta see this and it's so cute oh boy look how cute that is all right i know it's kind of thrilling but yes i will show you the closer look of our gnome and i know i put you in suspense but first before i go i want to thank you guys for staying with me today thank you so much and please if you like the video go give it a thumbs up and please subscribe that would be very very awesome and i really really appreciate it and if you like my jewelry go to my Poshmark closet and let's make a deal all right so thank you so much for watching shasha sj come back next time you have an awesome day bye